3D printing, uh, if we just turn the clock back five years, um, it's moved from being the best kept secret in the industry to a huge um, sense of awareness and hype, partially hype around it. What can 3D printing do and what it can't do? Um, I think there's going to be three major sectors that are going to grow uh, looking forward. One is the consumer sector, which is already now a three, four hundred million dollar business, which is going to grow, you know, in the next five, six years. Um, it's going to go at least 30, 40 percent, maybe 50 per year. That's one area, the consumer. Uh, the second area is going to be uh, an accelerated growth in the rapid prototyping. So when the 3D printer is actually used to prototype a product design, which 80% of customers are using today. But I think the most interesting sector for growth is going to be the additive manufacturing space, where not only printing one part or one product for prototyping, but multiple parts which are going to be end user parts or end user products. This is where the major growth is going to be coming in the coming years. I would say we will be, in 10 years, we will be seeing the factories of the future um, where we will, you will see production lines of 3D printers manufacturing 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Um, we will see factories um, producing end-user parts and end-user products in various locations around a certain geography. Uh, distributed manufacturing instead of centralized manufacturing and distribution we will have centralized product development and distributed manufacturing this is definitely something we're going to see um, what we will also see is an increased adoption um, in the prosumer and maybe then maybe within the 10-year time frame you will see the consumer um, part of the 3d business pretty much exploding in the next five years I would say it will have moderate growth. What's going to drive it? It's going to be driven by ease of use of product design software. Right? If, if you and I can simply design or modify a 3D uh, file and print it, then it's going to take off. So simplification of the uh, software in the design is going to really um, help the, the consumer part of the business flourish. And don't, and don't be misled, the MakerBot business 70% uh, of their sales go into companies, not into the consumer. Yeah, they're going into industry, same customers as ours, even the small ones. Yeah, for initial product design verification. It's fast, it's cheap, and it gives an initial look and feel. And then, for further developed prototypes, it'll go into a more high quality uh, system like, like some of our Stratasys products. So consumer, is maybe 30% of the business, 70% is still in the industry. And that, that consumer segment are what I call the, the prosumer, you know, these are professional consumers because of knowledge, skills, or level of interest. This we see developing very fast, but the average, you know, guy at home with a family, I think that's going to take uh, a lot longer. I think uh, what we've learned as, you know, with many other companies over the last couple of years is we didn't really uh, see or grasp the manufacturing opportunity, but the development in the materials, the material properties which we can actually print, are now such that we can actually manufacture final end user parts. Three or four years ago, um, we didn't really you know, believe that we would accelerate the development so fast. Um, so that's one thing, but also, you know, for 20 years 3D printing's been around, right? But only in the last three, four years has it got the media attention. Why? Uh, because the price points of 3D printers have come down to such a level, it's now become accessible for not only the consumer, but the hobbyists, the do-it-yourself, the engineers, the designers, the artists. Colour has now come into 3D printing. Three or four years ago, every, every 3D printed part was blue or grey. Right, uh, and so, uh, and also in the education sector, in the schools and colleges and universities, you know, because the price point has dropped, it's now uh, accessible to the universities and technical colleges. You know, the big question is what's going to be the consumer adoption? I think it's um, it's not going to be as fast as many people think. I think rather you will get more service bureaus opening up in towns where the consumer can 
take the file from the web, change it, modify it, and then send it to a service provider to be printed down the road. This is what I think is going to happen, much like the copy shops of yesteryear, but they'll be 3D print shops.